Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? Today, we're delving deeper into QQQ. Our initial report went live on our website on Thursday, March 7, 2024, and now we're back with a more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead of the curve and don't miss out on critical updates that could impact your investment decisions. Empower your trading strategies with our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 on stockinvest.us. Harness the potential of AI technology and receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any of the 25,000 global companies available today. Please be aware that this video serves purely informational purposes and is not intended as financial advice. Since January 5, 2024, our system has identified QQQ as a buy candidate with a score of 4.63. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. Those who followed our analysis have seen a significant gain of 12.27% since we first recommended QQQ as a buy candidate 43 days ago. This results in an average daily return of 0.29% since it was designated as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently in the upper part of a strong rising trend in the short term, presenting a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders. A break above the top trend line at $448.70 would signal a stronger upward movement. Over the next three months, there is a projected 11.51% change, with a potential return ranging from 7.43% to 12.32%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, a 35.88% change is anticipated, with a possible return between 17.75% and 36.5%. This could result in a price range of $524.52 to $608.04 after a year. Our latest update on QQQ reveals that the ETF price surged by 1.52% on Thursday. The QQQ ETF price jumped from $438.79 to $445.45 on Thursday, marking a 1.52% increase. Throughout the day, the ETF saw a 1.33% fluctuation, reaching a low of $440.86 and a high of $446.72. Over the past two weeks, there has been a 1.68% gain in price. Trading volume decreased by 2 million shares on the last day, with a total of 43 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $19.03 billion. It's worth noting that a decrease in volume amidst rising prices can indicate divergence and potential changes in the near future. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the highest price for the ETF was $446.72, while the lowest was $285.19. Currently, the price stands at 0.28% below the 52-week high, at $1.27 lower than the peak of $446.72, which also represents the all-time high for the ETF. Here are the signals identified for QQQ. The QQQ ETF shows positive buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable forecast for the stock. There is also a buy signal from the relationship between the two averages, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term one. In case of corrections, support can be expected at $440.60 and $430.94. A breach below these levels would trigger sell signals. Additionally, a buy signal is confirmed by the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Despite price gains, a decrease in volume on the last trading day raises a divergence concern between volume and price, serving as an early warning. Keep a close watch on the ETF. Some negative signals have also emerged, potentially impacting short-term developments. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Friday, March 1, 2024, resulting in a minus 0.0359% decline so far. Further decline is anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 45 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 12 days ago. 
The long-term moving average, by signal 86 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 73 days ago. Remember to visit stockinvest.us for more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for QQQ. QQQ is supported by accumulated volume at $428.55, presenting a potential buying opportunity when this support level is tested. The ETF typically exhibits controlled movements with low risk due to good liquidity. On the last trading day, QQQ had a price range of $5.86, equivalent to 1.33%. Over the past week, the daily average volatility of the ETF was 1.24%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for QQQ, let's review some key fundamental data. Firstly, let's consider the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A low P-E ratio may suggest reduced future expectations for the company or an undervalued stock, presenting a potential buying opportunity. Now, let's delve into potential day trading levels for QQQ. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ stands at $445.61. If you're not currently holding any shares, you might want to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For existing shareholders, this could be a strategic level for swing trading. Conversely, if QQQ experiences a downturn, its initial support level is at $428.55. Should this support level hold, it could present an opportune entry point, with the potential for a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $430.70, representing a decrease of 3.31%. Due to its low daily movements, this ETF presents a lower risk profile. Additionally, a sell signal from a pivot top was identified four days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? Based on short-term signals and an overall positive trend, it seems that there may be a buying opportunity at the current level for QQQ ETF. However, our analysis indicates that the current price is overvalued after considering volatility and recent movements. Looking ahead to trading on Friday, March 8, we anticipate QQQ to open down minus $1.11 and begin trading at $444.34. It's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. Before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities, it's essential to consult with a financial advisor. Please refrain from solely relying on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. Your use of the information provided holds you accountable for your own investment outcomes. Let's take a closer look at the current stock situation. Share your thoughts, do you agree or disagree? Tell us your target for the ETF in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.